Alright, we're going to be talking about the sample and population standard deviation. This lecture is about the sample standard deviation. The standard deviation, whether we're talking about sample or populations, is the spread of the data from the mean. So the mean is called the reference point for the standard deviation. Alright, so we're given some data. Our first row is the number of days taken off for a sample of nine people. Number of days taken off for a sample of nine people. That's our first row, 20, 26, 40, 36, 23, 42, 35, 24, 30. Now, there's two formula that, formulas that we could use, either the, the defining formula or the computing formula. We're going to be using the computing formula. It's a little bit easier to do the math behind it, so that's what we're going to use. If you're more familiar with the defining formula, you can use it. So whichever you're more comfortable with. All of these formula are on your pullout out of your book. Alright, since we're doing a sample, we're using statistics. Roman letters, we use S as the Roman letter for sample standard deviation. It is the square root of summation of x squared minus the summation of x all squared divided by n divided by n minus 1. Now n is just our sample size, just like before. Summation of x means we're going to add up these first numbers. The summation of x all squared means once we add it up, then we square that number. Now this is our new symbol, summation of x squared. Now this means we're going to take our x's, we're going to square them first, and then add. So, like for example, 20 squared is 400. So I went ahead and squared all of our numbers. Now, when we add up the second row of numbers, you should get 8,966. That's the summation of x squared. The summation of x, when you add up the first row, you get 276. Then we square it, divide by 9, and all divide by 9 minus 1. So now we're ready to simplify this. Order of operations says to use the square, get rid of the exponentials in parentheses first. So we need to square 276. When we square 276, we get 76,176 divided by 9. And I'm going to go ahead and say 9 minus 1 is 8. Now we're ready to divide. 76,176 divided by 9 is 8,464 divided by 8. Now, you should always get a positive number. So if this number is bigger than your first number, then you've probably done something wrong. Subtract, and we get 502 divided by 8. Now we're ready to divide. 502 divided by 8 is 62.75. Now we're finally ready to get rid of that square root. You've got to take the square root of that final number. That is 7.9215. Remember to put all your numbers to four decimal places. This is and concludes the sample standard deviation.